Hi everyone, this is Rose from Jewelry Designs by Rose and I wanted to show you the um, cute chain that I put a bunch of dangles on. This came from the Vintage monthly subscription and it had a bracelet in there and so I basically took the bracelet apart and I made this cute little like drop and I think it's pretty long enough um I was gonna make it a little add some more to the top but I think it's gonna be too long so I wanted to show you what I did and how I did it so the chain comes apart really easily it's not sealed so I basically just added a few items of my own and a few items from the vintage Vintage um, subscription box. I added the butterfly charms that were in it. I added my own amethyst bead. I had some daggers, so I added that to a jump ring. And then I had some of these really cute purple check glass beads. And I believe this was in the vintage uh, subscription box, this one little bead here. And then also they had these cute little butterfly charms. They're so super cute. They've got the little butterfly charm on there. And I added two, I created two of my own little links here. One with the pearl, freshwater pearl and a crystal. And another one here with a shell bead and a check glass bead, a smaller check glass bead. So I added these all together. And so what I was thinking was that I'm going to make a chain. Sorry for my mess. I'm going to have this other gold chain that I bought. And so I think what I'll do is just connect it to this chain and have it as a drop, but I'll probably add a few beads in between as well. So I just wanted, I thought that was a really cute idea. And so I wanted to show that to you. I think it's gonna look really super cute. So simple idea, um, you know, anybody could do it. I could also just add it if I wanted to, to the chain. And then I could just use the um, clasp that was attached to that as well. So, and then just have it as like a cute little necklace with a drop. But I think if I add a couple different beads, I'm not sure if I'm going to add maybe some amethysts, you know, a couple different ones going up. And that's one idea if you have the vintage box. So I'm going to set that aside for right now and I will do that later. The other thing is the vintage box from last month had a bunch of beautiful butterflies. I love butterflies. Um, and also came with a cute, some cute, really nice little things here that you can add bee caps. Um, and so I think those are really cute. I like these little dangles that they put on the bottom. It looks like you can take them off. So I'm thinking what I might do is just take these little links here off. Um, let's see. Yeah, they look like you could just easily turn up and take those off. And then what I'll do is maybe add one little bead in between. And actually I made one earlier that I ended up not using. Let me see if I can find it. So I made this cute little link and I ended up not using it. Um, I could add a jump ring and then add the link to it as well and see how that would work. Let's, let's give it a try. I want just a teeny little, little tiny jump ring. This jump ring is a little tough. <clears throat> so 
So there's that. And then I want to add it forward. I'm going to use my pliers. So I added one. And of course, I put it on backwards with the little thing on backwards. But I just wanted to get an idea of what it would look like. See, so I just turned it around. I think that's going to look really cute. So I just need to make a few more. And that would be a super cute idea. And then I think also what I want to do is add a little bit larger crystal bead on the top. So yeah, that's going to look really super cute if I had three of those. It's just a simple wire wrap with a little purple crystal. So I'm going to continue to do that. Here's another one I made. So I can add that one really fast. And I just happened to buy these um, little gold jump ring. That one's trying to, starting to tarnish. Um, I think I bought them online. I'll have to see if I can find some for you like this on Amazon and link it to the bottom. Note to self, link. <laughs> I have to make a mental note. Link jump rings from Amazon. Yeah, that would look super cute with that one on there for people to buy. So I will add that. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got over a really bad cold. I've had it for like a whole week, like seven days. It was terrible. Very terrible. It wasn't COVID. I did take a test. I don't know how accurate the test is, but I did take a test and it did say it was negative. So that was a good thing. I didn't lose my sense of taste. My understanding is a lot of people are losing their taste buds. Thank goodness. Cause I, I have kind of a sensitive palette and I like my palette. <laughs> Oh, see, that's looking really super cute. So basically all I did was, you know, wrapped on one of those little bees. I actually have, oops, sorry, I moved the camera. I'm going to add one here. And then I put them the same direction. So I'm just going to bend that over. Put my round nose pliers here, bend it over, and then switch it to the top, and then keep bending it around. Just like that. And then I'm just going to wrap it three times. Just like that. And I'm going to cut off this excess wire Continue. there we go and then I'm just going to bent out of shape because it's a little bit of a soft work the softer wire <coughs> excuse me so I'm just going to tuck in that little extra piece I cut off there you go get a little tiny jump ring those jump rings are a little bit bigger than that, so it's probably this one. Could use a skinnier one. I'll have to go back and get a few smaller ones, I think, and replace those. I think this one's kind of big. Okay, so the other ones I have uh, two wire wraps on the top and three on the bottom, so I'm going to try to be consistent with that because it'll be the same length. And that looks pretty good. That is super cute. I'm just going to get the last little link here. I have to open it up just a little bit more. And close it. Up. 
super cute. Oh, that's so cute. And then I think what I want to do, I'm just going to move all these over here. A lot of jump rings. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I could add a jump ring with the butterfly there, but I think I think I might do that. So I'm going to get a small jump ring. I think that'll be good, but I want to do another wire wrap with um, a crystal bead. So I'm going to get my wire and then um, using the Beadsmith Craft Wire 22 gauge. It's a soft, super soft wire. It makes it easier to do wire wraps. So then what I'm going to do is <clears throat> wire wrap one side first. I just kind of smooth it out with my hands. Keep bending it more. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to take it about a third of the way down. And I'm just going to bend it over. And then I will just... Bend this back to kind of straighten it out. And wrap it around. It's kind of separated so just try to squeeze it together to make it look even some people like to keep wrapping it around several times and go over you could do that as well it gives it a kind of a unique look and it doesn't have to be you know look so perfect which is also kind of nice to you don't have to stress out about it looking perfect and I'm bending it down just a little bit so that way when I when I um, cut it off, it's going to kind of wrap around a little bit towards the back. And the one thing I know I like is I like to see that little wrap come across in the front and not the back. So to me, that looks like the front. Um, let me get, see if I could get a good shot for you. There you go. So I'm talking about this, this wrap that starts and comes over. Okay, get a good picture for you here. Okay, there we go. So you can see that versus that. So I like the, this side to be the front versus the back. And then I'm going to get a crystal. These are Austrian crystals. I used to buy them all the time. And if I put this this way, I'm going to get some ear hooks, earring hooks, ear hooks, earring hooks, ear wires. Gosh, I can't talk today. <laughs> I have these cute little ear wires. So, if I put these ear wires on, it will hang this way. So, I'm going to need to do the ear wire going the opposite way. So, unless I add the jump ring to it, but I think. true if I add the jump ring then it's gonna have to be the other way if I decide to add the butterfly kind of gets lost in it so I think I'm gonna leave the butterfly out for this one oops sorry I have got my headphones on and 
I keep hitting it down, and so what it it keeps um, it keeps hitting the phone, making the phone move. So I apologize. Okay, so I've got the Jeffrey. Gonna wrap that around. I mean, I got the wire. I'm just gonna. Wrap that around. I've got to go pick up my husband right now from the airport, so I'm going to cut this off really fast. Tuck in that extra wire. Okay, so there's that. Close this up a little bit. So, oh, you know, I should have wire wrapped it inside of there. I think that would have been better. I could add a jump ring, or I could save this for something else. I love doing that as well, too, because I will always use it. So I'm going to be back in just a little while. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Okay, so um, as I was making these earrings, as I mentioned before, um, I decided to change the jump rings that I had attached these with, with a smaller jump ring. The other jump ring was really super big. I'm just looking at this right now. Looks like I need to close that a little bit. So I added a smaller jump ring here. Um, I think it looks much better now. And then I added the Austrian crystal with the wire wrap and I used these gold ear wires that I had. I believe this was from a, um, a bead box that it wasn't a bead box. It was like a kit that you get with the Softlex company. They have these um, cute little kits that they have. So, and they came out really super cute. So I really love those. Um, as you could see, I just, all I did was take these little charms off that were on the bottom and added these twisted purple beads. They look super cute. So now I'm going to um, show you this cute little dangle that I made. And I made it a little shorter. But I think this has a lot of cute little charms on it. And so now I just want to make a, um, a necklace for it. And so I have this kind of gold chain. It's really bright gold, but it'll go good with these little cute little charms. Uh-oh, I lost focus. Try to get focus. There we go. So, um... <clears throat> Hopefully you can see that clearly and hopefully you saw the earrings clearly. So what I'm going to do is figure out the approximate length that I want for my necklace. Um, I don't want it too long. I want to say that at the most, because this will be hanging down from the center, that I'm going to create a maybe 20 inch or 22 inch that hangs down and so I'm just going to measure that really fast um don't have my ruler with me so I have marked my table so I'm just going to move this tray out of the way because I where I marked my my table is underneath it so sorry for the mess underneath <laughs> And I'm going to go over that vintage box in just a short time. So I'm going to measure 18 because I'm going to be adding some links in between. Okay. So I'm going to cover this back up. And this is at 18. So I'm just going to cut that off right in the middle. Cut that off and 
Not sure where my garbage can went, so I'll just have to set these aside for now. Okay. So here is my chain. Super duper cute. Love it. And this is going to hang down from it. But I think what I want to do is add a couple of cute um, purple links of some kind. And I do have this cute check purple check glass. I think it's like a pink finish on there. So that would be really super cute. So I think if I just added maybe four of those, I happen to have those right here. I think that's going to look really super cute. Okay. So I'm going to do a wire wrap. I'm going to use the 22 gauge um, Beadsmith craft wire. This is a tarnish resistant wire. So just going to use my coated pliers that I have here. Um, I'm not sure what brand these are, but they have a cute little shiny blue, like a uh, glittery handle. Bought these a while ago. Probably bought them on Amazon. And so I'm just going to cut a piece of this wire off. I don't need a really long piece and I don't want to waste any wire. I've been using that Beadsmith craft wire for some time now. Um, I usually don't use gold, but some of these kits came in gold. And so I am using it a lot more now. <laughs> And I'm really liking the gold, actually. Knowing that it's um, tarnish resistance makes me happy also, because I use a lot of silver. It does tarnish really fast. OK, so the first thing I do is I have this and I've got to figure out exactly where I want these beads to be. So I'm thinking that that looks pretty good. So this little charm is going to have to hang down. Maybe from the middle of a bead here. So I'm just trying to see. I don't want it to be on the bar. So what I'll probably end up doing is adding a round, like a round link right here. It's now I'm going to count one, two, three. I could do three and then one and add it right there. One, two, three. I think that would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is cut it at after the three. I'm going to make sure it's the even length. Okay, so one, two, three. And I'm going to cut this big link off here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I started this wire. I'm going to go ahead and open this up just a little bit and add this end on there. Close it back up. And then I'm going to start doing the wrap. Okay. And I like to try to make sure it gets nice and tight. If you can't get it tight, then use some pliers to pull it with. Sorry if you can hear my husband snoring in the background. <laughs> He fell asleep early. He just got back yesterday from a one day trip to Seattle because his uncle passed and they were having the funeral. So we went to go help them out. <clears throat> so 
so there is that so cute I love that and I'm gonna make it go the same direction that around okay Go ahead and close that. Oh, I always do that. I always close it before I connect it. I don't know what's why I do that. <laughs> so in that case, I will fake it. I'll show you a good way to fake it. I saved some small jump, little jump rings, which are right here. If you have a habit of doing that, you could just add a jump ring to that. So that's one way to do it. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off this little tiny piece right here. Okay, so there's that. And I think it would be easier for me because I always do that is just to add jump rings. Okay, so I'm going to add this jump ring here. And I'm going to um, add another jump ring to this side since I've got one two little rings there and I've got three here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of these extra rings here off so that it's the same as the other side okay so now I've got two I'm just gonna put some of these jump rings on my tray here I like having a tray that I can move around because it's easier to just move things out of the way if I need to. Um, sometimes I'm working on multiple projects. Always multitasking. <laughs> okay, so there's a bunch of those jump rings. Just making sure that it's even. Yep. Okay, so there's that one. And then, like I said, I'm going to do one, two, three. So I'm going to take this middle one out plus two of the loops on each side because that's what I did for the last one. So I'm going to cut it here. Okay, and then I'm going to take this side off on the second one. I do have an extra little link there, which I will keep because you never know what you could use those little extra things for. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do another wire wrap using the 22 gauge wire. 
And again, I'm going to straighten it out, slowly going down, but trying to get it as straight as I can. And just going to cut that little piece off. The center is there. Just going to get close to the center and make my loop. I don't want the loop to be too big, so I'm taking it down just a little bit below the halfway point here. I'm going to put it on the bottom wire here. Okay, so now I have to. Since I'm going to be using jump rings now, I don't have to worry about closing it with the chain. If you are not forgetful like I am, then feel free to attach it to the chain. <laughs> but since I know I'm forgetful, I'll probably end up doing it a, a few times and I don't want to forget. And I just did two wire wraps around this. And I'd like it to look nice and tight, so I'm just squeezing the two together, making sure I've got two on each side. Okay. So